Level 19. Rumination. And why am I in such a good mood? Because I have done four of the five hardest gems in the game. No, three of them. Three of them. I've done Cold Hard Crash. I've done Digging It. I have done Totally Bear. But I'm going to upload that one after Spaced Out because I'm uploading them in level order. And I've just given away my secret. No, I did do all the levels in level order except the two secret levels, level 26 and then level 27. But I'm going to upload them uh, at the end of the playlist because I can. Uh, but yes, I have done two RC levels, one after the other, <laughs> digging it, cold hard crash. And frankly, I want something that is less RC. It's still slightly RC as RC levels go, but it's not as RC as them. And now I need to be incredibly careful and tiptoe through the nitros. And that's that. Get rid of monkey scissor hands and green gem platform. A green gem, not necessary for the box gem, but there is a secret gem here, as always. And like Cold Hard Crash, the previous level, I'm gonna have to commit suicide if I want both gems. Well, I don't have to, but it's a lot easier if you do. Otherwise, you need to backtrack through half the level. And when a level is made up entirely of floating platforms in a void, you want to avoid doing backtracking. You want to avoid doing backtracking full stop, but especially when the half of the floor is missing. Or more than half the floor, actually. I know it's meant to be ruins, but for fuck's sake, they could have done a better job preserving them. Are we National Trust? Get your fucking ass in gear. What I don't get about ruined castles is who noticed they were ruined and decided, oh, we need to preserve this. Could they not have found it a bit sooner and preserved a bit more of it? I got dragged to a lot of castles as a kid. I mean, I like castles. They're cool. If most of it's still there. If it was just a big pile of rocks and, like, a vague hint of where a door used to be, that was pretty boring. And now, kill yourself. And we go back to the checkpoint. And we can continue with our box gem. Uh, the castles I like best were the ones that had dungeons and torture devices. I have several books on medieval weaponry and torture. Yes, they're worried about me. <laughs> oh, honestly, some of them are amazing. Uh, my most <laughs> favourite is probably not the right word, but a torture method I really think they should bring back. I believe it's called um, uh, the boats, or it can be called the tub. They get a person and seal them in between two empty rowing boats, or in like a big wooden tub. And they, they tie them up so they can't move. And then they force feed them a shitload of honey and a shitload of milk. And the person starts shitting and vomiting uncontrollably. And the boat that they're in essentially fills up with shit and piss and vomit potentially, which attracts insects, flies, maggots and all that. And the person is essentially eaten alive as they rot away in a pile of their own shit. And I think that would be a brilliant punishment for certain people on this earth. To be honest, the death penalty isn't quick enough for some people. Especially rapists paedophiles. Murderers should definitely be given the death penalty. Unless they'd like tortured them or something. And in which case, totally bring back the tub or the boat or whatever you want to call it. This is a nice happy subject for people who've just come here to where uh, watch someone play Crash Bandicoot 2, uh, potentially work out how you do a level. Think, oh, I'll watch this there video that's kind of like a guide. What the fuck is she talking about? Mute. <laughs> if you're still here, 
Uh, you must be as fucked up as I am. <laughs> I want to hear me talk more nonsense, shall we say. Oh, and the one thing I really hate about when you kill yourself is you lose your fucking masks. Because I've always got two masks. I permanently carry around two masks with me where possible. But no, I lost them. So now I have to get them back. And now I've only got one. And if you can't tell how many you've got because only one follows you, if you've got one, he's got coloured feathers. And if you've got two, he's got shiny golden feathers. It's simple as that. And if you've got three, you're wearing it. It's, uh, it's that simple. So because there's coloured feathers, I currently have how many? Everyone at home shout out, I currently have one. And if you did shout out, I want you to write in the comment section that you did shout out so I can point and laugh at you. Okay, nitro box. The most awkwardly placed fucking nitro box in the whole game. I cannot tell you how many times as a kid that fucking killed me. But um, my uh, depth perception is a bit better now. Despite the fact I now wear glasses, because I didn't as a kid. And enough of my nonsense, there is the box gem. 